Hello awesome friends, this is Big Pete here. And Tao Pete here. We have visited Singapore last weekend, yeah? Yeah. On SDGCC and then we took uh, Sunday to visit the China Square Central, which is, uh, everybody knows in Singapore that uh, they are popular with their Sunday flea ma- toy flea market. Yeah, I, I suppose every toy collector worth his salt would know that if you are going to visit Singapore, you would definitely have to go to China Square Central because on Sundays, on the weekends, right, there's a big flea market yeah. where toys are being sold at crazy prices. So there are two floors in China Square Central, the lower ground and the first floor. And what you find there are a lot of uh, old toys, I would say second-hand collector's item, some gems that you can find there, which is quite interesting because uh, the China Square Central has been around for quite some time. I've mm. been visited. I mean, I've been visiting them for many many years. But I would say this time around when I was there, there are lesser. Um, I would say in the flea market part, there are lesser sellers that sells all the second-hand collector's item. Yeah, which brings us to this topic of this video, right? Because uh, it was my first time to China Square Central, uh, but when we were there, you know, we heard a lot of rumors from not only the shoppers, but also from the sellers as well, Mm. that the building is closing down. So what is going to happen to the flea market? Of course, these are just Rumors, rumors but some because, say they yeah. are not moving it's just rumors some say they are only closing down the flea yeah. market so uh, before that happens make sure actually you pay a visit to china square central if you have the time and you are in singapore yeah so it was because of the rumors that a lot of the sellers were trying to clear up their stock they were selling all the uh, you know their merchandise at crazy prices yeah you will find a very good deal here uh, which we did. <laughs> yeah. So a big piece. I mean, from my experience, you know, you've been you've been going to China Square Center for so many years. Mm-hmm. What has changed? Has it gotten bigger, better, or? Um, like I said, the flea market part was a bit disappointing because I don't see a lot of the sellers to sell all the secondhand stuff mm-hmm. or the vintage toys. So there are there are less sellers now. Less sellers, but more shops. Uh, I would say the shops are more interesting stuff nowadays. Um, but hard to compare actually. Okay, it's, I mean, if if I were to compare to you know markets like us, you know Malaysia, Hong Kong, and you know the other market as well. I find that the number of shops in China Square Central could have been better. Mm-hmm. I mean, even though yes, there are a lot more shops, but their variety is not uh, that many. Of course, if you compare from Malaysia, we have M Court Mall, mm. where we have also the Sunday flea market where toy sellers are all there. But um, it's very different because China Square Central started quite long ago, quite some time ago, before M Corp uh, became so popular with toy, um, call, so called uh, all the flea market for toys. So I would say, for me, I've seen this before, and I was impressed with China Square Central, and I'm glad actually M Corp Mall has you know picked up the pace that we have more toys now in Malaysia. Yeah, I mean for me. Um would I go back to China Square Central? I would say yes, yeah. if, if it's still around. <laughs> but I wouldn't spend um, too much time in China Square Central. As, as I was saying, you know, the shops, the variety is quite limited. Uh, in fact, I actually find the flea market to have actually a lot more variety or an option for the users like us compared to what they actually have in store. Yeah. Uh, one thing I would like to actually emphasize is about the pricing. Mm. Right, if you say you earn a thousand ringgit here, then you can buy most probably uh, two, uh, three SHF. Mm-hmm. If you earn a thousand Sing dollar, you can buy actually more than that because the toy value is very much lower. Um, I would say that's a very good place to go if you yeah. are in Singapore yeah, that's, or you work in Singapore. That is true in a way, but then don't forget, you know, Singapore has no uh, tax on toys. Versus like in Malaysia, we have to pay for tax. Yeah. Yeah. And also our currency is not yeah, I think the current, the current situation, of course, is not helping at all, right? But as you can see from our videos and, and the pictures, uh, you know, if you're looking for vintage toys, actually, yeah, not too bad. You know, China's percentage They have a lot of selection and all are quite in good condition, I would say. Yeah. I mean, for the rumors itself, um, you know, if you Google the news, there are some stories out there 
then again, you know, if you're gonna visit, probably pay a visit soon because if the rumors are true, uh, the flea market probably won't be around very soon, I suppose. Yeah, and all your good deals will be gone. <laughs> yeah. So if you're in Singapore and if you're seeing this video, let us know what you think. Do you still pay a visit to China Square Central or have you stopped going all together and buying all from online? Yeah. Alright, Big Pete signing off. And Carpet signing off. Thank you for watching.